that is Kutrib looking forward to Epsley versus Hampton and Richmond Borough. Six weeks without home game, will it be good to come back? Yeah, great, uh, great feeling. Uh, I think everyone is excited because we're here six weeks. Um, uh, see the pitch every day, but you're not allowed to be there. So um, everyone's looking forward to be home again after six weeks. A lot's happened in that six weeks, hasn't it? I mean, two away FA Cup victories to get you to this point where you're entertaining Hampton and Richmond Bar. Yeah, definitely. So I would say good six weeks. Uh, some good wins, some good performances, uh, great wins. And um, now we are there in the last qualifier round uh, and we are allowed to play Hampton again after a heavy defeat. And I'm really looking forward to it. That defeat at Hampton, that was the first game away from home over that six week period and uh, things didn't quite go according to plan but there'll be a different absolute side won't there on Saturday? Yeah definitely and um, I think it was yeah, a little bit unlucky so of course I don't want to put everything away from them or pull anything away from them but they played a good game and um, they deserved the win definitely uh, but for us were a few things very unlucky so first goal, first goal was yeah, we had the ball already, the second ball was nearly our own goal, or the second goal, and then the red card straight away after half time. So sometimes um, you, you, you need to accept when you lose. Uh, that's what we did. Uh, we take it on our chin and um, I'm very sure the boys are very hungry to make it better this Saturday. That's part of the motivation, isn't it? To get a little bit of revenge, to, to show that you're as good, if not better, than Hampton and Richmond Bar. Yeah, definitely. I think last season we had some good experiences when we uh, lost games, because whenever we played a second time against them, uh, we had a win, and um, that was very good. It was uh, against Chippenham when we get the FA Cup defeat. It was uh, Havan when we lost here 3-0, then we go there and win with nine men. Um, and, and, and Hampton as well, where we uh, lost very late there in the game and then a few weeks later we played an outstanding game here. So I had very good um, memories for uh, last season when we um, got beaten um, and hopefully it, it, it is in the same direction uh, this week. But you can see that the boys are very hungry this week, they're noisy on the pitch, they're focused, they work really hard and that's what we love to see. Your away form has been particularly good in that six weeks, uh, with only the Hampton defeat uh, at the beginning of that. But, but at home, you, you're going to want the crowd to really get behind you, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. And I think, um, to be honest, uh, our home performances were really good this season. We had only three, but these three were very good, even when we got beaten against Avent. But everyone who was here and saw the game um, and saw our fans after the game, I think that was the right credit for the boys because they were really hard and they played a good game and the other two games was outstanding wins so uh, we had some good performances here but of course we need to make sure that we get a win because that's the uh, main target and the main point in football anyway. Uh, you've been here a year now, a little over a year, do, do you understand how the fans get that little bit extra excitement with the FA Cup it means a little bit more than a, a weekly league game? Yeah, I think I get more and more used to it, to be honest, because you can feel it in every FA Cup game, even in the rounds before, with the away fans. Um, so in this case, we were the away fans, but they're home fans, and uh, not only the fans, the players as well. You can see a small small margins, but you can see a, a little difference um, in the approach, in the attitude um, and, and from our opponents. But um, I think our boys as well, to be honest, I'm not sure if I like it or if I don't like it, um, but I could feel it um, during the last FA Cup matches as well. We, are, we were a little bit more focused, if it makes sense. I don't want to say it in a bad way, I want to say it in a positive way because I really like this and I really like the attitude. And um, if, we can, uh, yeah, if we can do it again uh, with the same attitude and the same focus, uh, I would be very happy because it would mean for me that we have a good chance to win the game. Obviously, at each round of the FA Cup, the stakes get higher. And for this game, the stakes are very high because in the next round, were you to win, there's a lot of money at stake, but also the chance to play big teams like Gillingham, Charlton, Sunderland. So do you feel any extra pressure? <laughs> no, me not. I don't have to play. So uh, I, I'm only excited, to be honest. Um, I said to the boys today, uh, if I'm honest, I would love to play straight away now. I don't want to wait uh, more days. 
uh, until you are allowed to start. I want to start now, and uh, that's my excitement from my point of view, and which I can give to the boys. Um, and uh, that's only because it's a big game for the club. Um, I'm I'm aware of that, but um, I I can't feel any pressure at all because it's a football game, and if everyone is on on on, on his toes and everyone is able to bring his performance on the pitch. We will definitely have the chance to win the game, and um, there is no need for me to feel any pressure. Um, it's, it's more the other way around. I would love to play, to be honest. And so the, these are one of the games where I would say, so uh, let me go 10 kilos uh, lighter and um, give me the permission to play. I will deal with it on the pitch. Deal with it on the pitch. Um, that's more the feeling which I have. I don't feel pressure. I would love to be involved on the pitch. Um, but as I said, the, the most important thing is the boys are confident, the boys know what we want to do, um, everyone's on the same page, um, they, they try really hard and you can see everyone is knocking on the door, they want to be involved on Saturday um, in the starting 11 or even in the squad, so you can see it was a busy week for everyone. You've been using the squad well with the FA Cup games, bringing rotating the players. Uh, is everybody going to be available this weekend, apart from the couple of long-term injuries that you've got? Yes, only Christian and Gassani was not available and uh, Mackie still not available at the moment. Um, these are the only two boys and um, all the others are available, so a uh, bit of a headache for me. Uh, but that's what I love to have, so it's, 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 a, good, it's a good time. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm happy that I can um, pick 18 players for a FA Cup game. Uh, it makes the decision a little bit easier for me, for uh, yeah, not for the starting eleven, but for the eighteen, which are, can be involved. Uh, but as I said, I, I, I'm not anxious about making decisions. That's the reason why we are here. We want to be successful. I see them every day, and of course, uh, we will go as always with our gut feeling and uh, what our uh, yeah, what our eyes uh, could see during the week. Well, good luck on Saturday. Let's hope you're celebrating on Saturday evening. Thank you very much. Thank you.